So if you're watching this video, odds are you've either searched for oxalic acid vaporizer and, or you have seen my old video, which one of them was this oxalic acid vaporizer and the other one used an immersion heater. Now the immersion heater worked well for me. I used a small battery and it didn't burn out. But many, many, many folks are having issues with them burning out. And after more research, I realized that it's getting too hot and it is not correctly vaporizing the oxalic acid and it's turning it straight into formic acid and carbon dia or carbon monoxide. Same thing with this. This is using a, a heat or a, a glow plug block of aluminum. For, for this new design, and it's, this is not my design. I am just showing you how to make it. There's a fellow that I'm going to uh, link his video to, but he used um, glow plug and a temperature control, snap cap temperature control. And this is a 325 to 350, I think, temperature control. And he just mounted it to the side. So what I've done here is I bought this brick of aluminum off of Amazon. It seemed to be the cheapest I can find, including shipping. And I'm going to make this oversized uh, just so if I have, uh, if I really need to make a big well, I can use it for however many size hives I have. But I've cut this, this is two inches, so the total diameter of this aluminum block is three inches wide by 10 inches long, and I think this is a three quarter inch, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's three quarter inches. So, I'm cutting this at two inches. Oh, and what I'm using here to cut is my new toy. This is a Rockwell um, Blade Runner X2. This is the second version, but I have a a jigsaw, but I've, I've seen a lot of people mount it upside down into a table vise, but that just has cut off fingers written all over it. But I've tried this a few times with some other metals, and let's see how this cuts through the aluminum. So this is all cut out, and that Rockwell saw did a nice job. It took a little while to cut, but it is a th you know three-quarter inch piece of aluminum. So, but man, it cut a nice straight line. So. But now what we're going to do is we are going to draw where we want the glow plug and where we want the quarter inch rod. Well we've got the rough design drawn out. This will be the well to put all of the oxalic acid in it with the option to move it closer to here if I need to. This is where the glow plug is going to be and this is where the threaded rod is going to be. And I've drawn this, I'm just reusing these screws because I don't feel like buying anything else for this, but I'm going to mount the the temperature, uh, the thermostat on the side here, and I need this to be, you know, uh, long enough so that way when I tap this, the screws aren't going through the side here. So we've got the hole cut here for the glow plug, and now I'm going to drill a small little hole on the side and tap it so that way we can put the uh, glow plug in and really seat it in place and it'll um, it won't just be sitting in with friction like this one was we've got most of the holes already drilled this is the quarter inch hole that'll be for the quarter inch threaded rod right there this is a 6 30 seconds hole right here. That will be for the set screw for the um, glow plug. And then these are also 6 30 second holes that are tapped that will hold the thermostat. Now, next thing I have to do is figure out exactly um, where I want to put this channel and then start drilling. I have end mill bits that I'm going to start using and I'll just uh, start getting this channel going. I finally have the well milled out. It took me damn near forever. Um, my drill press was acting up and it was having a hard time getting nice smooth cuts in there.
but it should be deep enough and big enough to hold two grams easily. Um, and that way I can uh, do a whole hive. So I'm gonna go ahead and start assembling this and uh, wiring it and I'll let you show or I'll let you see what it looks like at the end. Well we're all done. Got everything wired up. It's a bit of a long unit, but it should do just fine. Um, I had to make a big of a, a bit of a loop here just because I didn't want anything touching here and melting. But this is all milled out. Hopefully there's enough room for the oxalic acid. There should be. But that's all done. Here's the temperature control. I'll put a link to it. But it's a um, Celco um, temperature control. It's a 350. Celco 350 if you need to look it up. But the only place I was able to find a small enough one is uh, the on the link that I'll, I'll show you. And then have it just run down here to a deep cycle battery. And then just like on the other guy's plans, I put an LED here. So that way, once this is to temperature and it shuts off, see that red line that's hooked up to the, um, on the other end of the, uh, the thermostat. So once the unit gets to 350 and shuts off, then I'll know. And if you see, the LED is on, so once it gets hot, it'll shut off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start doing some testing to see if it gets up to temperature and if it shuts off. And then um, once I'm done with that, we'll start, uh, we'll do a vaporizing test. Well, it's taken just about two minutes to boil some water. And then we'll let that kind of just boil over. So you know, or at least at over 200 degrees. All right, well we have the two grams of oxalic acid crystals in here. I let it cool down and dry up from the water and everything so that way we have a nice fresh start that's nice and cold. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, get the stuff working here. I'm just gonna hook everything up here. The lights on and we're working. It just started so you're not gonna see anything yet. So. I've started my timer. Well, I think I've started my timer. Now I've started my timer. And we'll see about how long it takes for it to at least get up to sublimating temperature. So we're about a minute and 40 seconds in, and we're already starting to see some steam coming off. A little bit of water is boiling off. But hopefully you can see that. I don't know if you can or not. There you go, you can see that. So it's doing well. All right, so we can see it in there. It's starting to work. And it's not boiling over or anything. Nice, slow vaporization. And it'll take a little while for this to fully happen. And remember, when this whole block gets to 350 degrees, this LED will turn off. So I'll know that it, uh, it has reached temperature, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's all completed. So. Nice, even, slow, look at that. I think it's my best one yet. I have to definitely give credit to the, I can't remember his YouTube name, but he he's the one that came up with this and uh, posted it. He just didn't say anything in the video. Very, very good. Good, good, good idea. Now when this is all done, I'm going to come in with some heat shrink tape and clean up all the leads and cover them. Right now we're about four minutes, four and a half minutes in from the start of turning it on. 
And you can see it's just doing really well. Well, the temperature snap disc just popped in. And you can see that that was really going to a nice roaring boil. And it's almost completed. LED is off. And if we can zoom in here, you should be able to see. Let's uh, refocus in on this. No, we're not going to be able to. But anyways, it should, yeah, there you go. You can see the bottom. I don't want to get my lens too close to this uh, vapor. But you can see, nice and clean bottom. So that's the best way to get it done. And then it it took about six minutes. So six minutes to do. But that ain't bad. All right, everybody. Well, I'm going to go air out my garage. I hope you enjoyed this video. You know to hit the thumbs up button. And please leave all of your comments below.